<laughs> the Incas called it Ini, today for me, tomorrow for you. A system of work as here at harvest time, in which neighbours help each other. <laughs> After the harvest, an offering is made to the Pachamama, Mother Earth. All make a small prayer. And then the head of the family, whose harvest this is, offers a libation to the gods of the mountains. The Incas' beliefs survived the Spanish conquistador 500 years ago, but were almost destroyed in the last decade by the savagery of the Shining Path. They kind of despise the traditional culture of the people here. Uh, they were mestizos and they felt superior to the Indians even though they were revolutionaries and they said they were going to transform the world. Not long ago these roads were deserted. The Indians had abandoned much of the high plateau of the Andes. For here in the far north of Ayacucho province was the stronghold of the Shining Path who almost succeeded in wiping out their culture. But now the old patterns of life are returning. <laughs> Every Friday, people from remote villages come to this patch of ground where the road ends. They come from all directions. Herding their llamas to the weekly market. Few of these traders are here to make a profit. They're mostly bartering for the things they need. A little of this for a little of that. Some of them won't even accept money. We only have money. <laughs> he doesn't understand how much the solace is. So he's just giving me a few bananas, which is a lot of money for them, but he doesn't know what it is. The young women wear flowers in their hats, not out of vanity, but as a sign that they're unmarried. A practice that was forbidden by the revolutionaries who tramped into these mountains to change their lives. When Shining Path came and tried to impose their way, very quickly they began clashing with the way of life of these people. They thought it was because these people were ignorant, that they couldn't understand the scientific truth of Marxism, and they couldn't just imagine that these poor peasants, beyond being poor peasants, were Quechua people and had their own system of authorities, their own uh, religion, their own uh, fiestas, uh, their own way of uh, uh, working the fields, etc. Era más fácil imponer esto, un cambio de, de reglas con ellos, ¿no? 
que las personas que estaban en la, en la ciudad, que bueno, ya saben más que los campesinos, ¿no? Ellos leen, son, tienen más, eh, más cultura, tal vez. Maria was recruited by the Shining Path when she was 16. Fearing for her life, she set strict conditions for our interview, but agreed to talk about her indoctrination. O sea, nos decían que solo mediante la violencia podíamos uh, al menos imponernos a otra persona. A short drive from the hillside market is the village of Puras. Caught between the army and the shining path, the Indians abandoned Puros for nearly a decade. <laughs> But now they're slowly returning to rebuild it. In 1982, the Shining Path climbed up to Puros to take control. They called the townsfolk together for a meeting. Community leader Adrian Naupa remembers what they were told. People who openly refused to cooperate were killed, their houses burnt, their animals stolen. The Shining Path baptized its own into a cult of violence. Entramos a una comunidad este, así como un bautizo, ¿no? que es la primera vez que nosotros estamos en una situación de esa, eh, teníamos que, que matar nosotras. ¿no? Éramos mujeres e incluso nos, nos llegaron a dar el revólver, pero fue tanto el nerviosismo que no podíamos apretar el gatillo. The baptism was completed when one of their leaders finally shot two of the villagers in front of them. Bueno, ellos decían que era para cambiar la sociedad. Down from the highlands is Ayacucho City, the real birthplace of Latin America's most violent revolutionary movement. Around this square is the city's university, and in the 1970s, a plump, middle-aged professor of philosophy, Abimael Guzman, was on the governing board of the institution. His colleagues knew him as a serious man, a conservative dresser with rather formal manners, but he also had an intense charisma that galvanized many students to his ideas. What they didn't know is that during this time, he was secretly recruiting his own revolutionary organization. He called it Sendero Luminoso, the shining path. They made the God out of him, and they were ready to die and kill in the name of an idea. Lo sentíamos como, como que si fuera nuestro padre, de que era una persona bastante inteligente y que podía conducirnos y cambiar. Up until the time of his remarkably low-key arrest in 1992, Guzman had been known as Commander Gonzalo. Police videoed his capture in a comfortable house in a wealthy suburb of Lima. Underlying this benign image, the ageing radical professor in tutorial, was the fact that Guzman and his disciples truly believed the Shining Path was the last hope of world revolution. Viva el Presidente Gonzalo!
they transform them themselves at the intellectual level, but they were still urban mestizos from the cities, and they had always despised the Indians. If these were intellectuals, middle-class intellectuals, many of them, how does one explain this extraordinary brutality? You have built this project, and it's like a shoe, and then the feet doesn't the foot doesn't fit in this shoe, and so instead of building another or making another shoe, you cut the feet like uh, the old Chinese women, you know. And so you had to cut all these, what they said, uh, uh, rotten branches. Ellos pues para, para colaborar, para apoyar a ellos no se exigía. Si uno no apoyaba, no exigía, como cualquier animal lo mataba. Jose Paiwa and his family live in two shacks built on a wasteland outside the Peruvian capital, Lima. Along with their own children, they've been caring for their granddaughter since her father and 18 other villagers were massacred by the Shining Path. Mataron a todos los hombres. A cuchillo, a, a palos, a, a pedradas, hacha, machete. In a little over 10 years, more than 30,000 people were killed by both the Shining Path and the army. Jose Paiwa took his family from Ayacucho and joined an estimated three quarters of a million others who fled to cities and large towns. Now the government says the war is over and there's a campaign to encourage the refugees to go home. Thousands are returning, but many, like Jose Paiwa, come right back when they find that life in their destroyed villages is even worse than the shanty towns they've left. Nos permitieron para ayudarnos, pero no nos ayudó. Motivos no hay, no hay para comer, no hay para trabajar herramientas. Solamente nos, nos dio este, una, pal, una pala nomás. Like the exodus, the return is slow and painful. But Indians are repopulating their devastated highland villages. Three hundred and eighty people, about half the families who once lived here, have come back to Puros. Those who've come back to stay are determined not to be forced out again. For here in the mountains, among these descendants of the Inca, is where the resistance to the Shining Path began. And although the army was for years as violent as the rebels, these men have accepted training from them and basic weapons to form local militias. For the Indian, that's the lesser of two evils, since in the end, the Shining Path offered them nothing but death. Bueno, no sé qué sentido tendrían ellos o qué estudio tendrían ellos, porque nosotros no sabemos nada. 
porque ellos dicen que estamos luchando para los pobres, pero prácticamente a los pobres, a los campesinos, es lo que están matando. Señor, vamos a que nos respetar, Señor, Señor, Padre. Señor, 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 While the men put their faith in shotguns, the women look to heaven. Though even here, the returnees find much has changed. The power of the old church, like that of the colonial landlords, has been broken in the highlands, since few priests dared stay during the war. Evangelical Christianity has taken its place. Its themes of apocalypse and salvation from the world of suffering resonate for the survivors of the long conflict in the mountains and for those who have come home.